Good, happy Thursday morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this breaking news. Officials, no active shooter at Joint Base Andrews. The latest reports of an active shooter at Joint Base Andrews outside Washington, all times local. At 10.40 a.m., law enforcement officials Officials find no active shooter at Joint Base Andrews. At 10.30 a.m., Vice President Joe Biden was scheduled to leave from Andrews on Thursday morning, but his trip has been delayed by the lockdown. The Vice President's office says he is waiting out the delay at his residence at the Naval Observatory in Washington. Biden was due in Columbus, Ohio for a midday campaign event for Governor Ted Stackland. The president, vice president, and other senior government officials fly in and out of Joint Base Andrews. The base is the home of Air Force One and other aircrafts used for official travel. President Barack Obama was last at the base Wednesday night when he returned from a trip to Ottawa, Canada. At 10.20 a.m., emergency vehicles with lights on but no sirens are in the area of a military base on lockdown after an active shooter was reported to on the post. At least three people in camouflage and helmets could be seen walking, working dogs around the three-style medical building at Joint Base Andrews. The post to Air Force One and is about 20 miles outside Washington. The base was put on lockdown Thursday morning after an active shooter was reported. An active shooter exercise had been planned, but officials say reports of a real world active shooter came in. Around 10.15 a.m., a few people could be seen walking out of the building, including a person being wheeled in a wheelchair. Helicopters ever hovered overhead, but it is unclear if they are news or military helicopters. At 10.10 10 a.m., officials say first responders are trying to secure the scene of an active shooter report at the military post near Washington. Joint Base Andrews, which is about 20 miles outside the national capital and is home to Air Force One, said in a tweet Thursday that the base is reacting to the active shooter report to ensure the safety of all personnel. It was not immediately clear if any shots were fired or if anyone was wounded. Meanwhile, Homeland Security Secretary Gian Johnson says there is an unfolding situation at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland, but is providing no further detail. The base tweeted Thursday morning that it was on lockdown after reports of an active shooter. At 10 a.m., Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson says there is an unfolding situation at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland, but is not providing further detail. The base, which is home to Air Force One, tweeted Thursday that the base is on lockdown to, due to a report of an active shooter. The tweet instructed all personnel at the base in Washington's Maryland suburb to shelter in place and says, more information will be released as it comes. 
Johnson is testifying before the Senate Traditional Committee. He says he may have to take a break from the hearing as the situation at Andrews develops. At 9.55 a.m., an employee at the medical facility at Joint Base Andrews outside Washington says an active shooter drill had been planned, but officials later told workers it was a real-world situation. Rodney Smith is a patient advocacy at the military post-medical facility. He said Thursday that he was on lockdown and didn't have any more information. Smith said by phone, first it was an active shooter exercise, then it came back real world. Smith said the situation was unfolding at the newer of two buildings at McCollum Grow Medical Facility on the base. He was in the older building. Joint Base Andrews said in a tweet the incident is ongoing and that first responders are on scene. At 9.50 a.m., Joint Base Andrews tweets that the base is on lockdown due to a report of an active shooter. The tweet sent Thursday morning instructs all personnel at the base in Washington's Maryland subhub to shelter in place and says more information will be released as it comes. A second tweet from the base says the incident is ongoing at the McCollum Grow Medical Facility and first responders are on scene. It instructs everyone to continue to shelter in place, a precaution meant to keep people safe while remaining indoors. And a couple minutes ago, a tweet came out 10 minutes ago, updated saying all clear given at Joint Base Andrews, lockdown lifted. And that's the latest on this breaking news. If we get any more information, we will bring it straight to you. I hope you all have a great Thursday. Goodbye, everyone.